Welcome. You have reached review time with Imperial. Today's review will be Snowfall Season 4, Episode 10. Let's get into it. Very explosive. Very explosive. This, this probably... In Season 4, Episode 10, Season Finale, might be the best episode in the history of uh, Snowfall. It They definitely... Touch this season and brought it back to the season one that captivated everybody that had everybody drawing for this to be FX. Uh, I always keep saying if this was like on um, HBO Showtime, they would be able to even get more graphic. But for it to be FX, salute, man. Oh uh, man, this is they they bounced back. The writers really did justice. They dug in deep this season, put things together, and made. This is a comeback season like this. You have to watch this and then say if you was into power, into the wire and all those type shows like that. If you was into all that, you got to look at this show and say this is right up there. This is in my book. If I had to, after seeing all of them. Power still might be number one, I think, because the wire was. Season three, when the little kids was growing up, that whole thing right there, and this, the, the, seeing this, the kids change from good kids to you know getting involved and all that, then that them kids snap. So, but then they had those moments in the wire that was kind of whack. So the power and wire could go hand in hand. But this is definitely three. This is three knocking on the door, you know, and it's not even on um, premium cable. But nevertheless, get it. Let's get into episodes. So, of course, it picks up hospital Franklin. Reed's looking for it out and Franklin um, uh, says the sissy pretty much, hey, where's Alton? She told him that Alton said pretty much if he get a message to him through uh, the sh homeless shelter, they get, they'll find out where he at and get a message to him. So that's where he goes with Leon. He finds out they're not trying to give out information. So you're seeing... Franklin changing and becoming something else. He's tapping into that non-pleasant side, not caring. So he kicked everybody out of the homeless shelter. Meanwhile, um, that was his way to get Alton out of the shadows. So at that moment, you had Alton on the Black Panther radio talking about he's going to out read nickname is Reed Mc, um, down or whatever and he's going to out him and he got pictures of him and this that and the third so uh you had that going on and Scully is pissed off he's gearing up ready for war looking for Franklin and all them and he wants to know where Franklin's mom live at so Franklin reaches out to um Alton Alton shows up at the house they having a back and forth, talking, telling Alton. So it also the see the episode showed up with Sean Franklin when he was younger and Alton came and pulled him out of school and talking to Black Panther stuff and all that. And um he pretty much told Franklin, you know, like, you know, he don't he a little kid, he don't understand right now, but one day he going may have to make his own decisions and he gonna be proud of him or whatever. So and of course the Alton and uh Franklin going back and forth. He, of course he can't kill his dad. Many of us might have thought is he gonna be the one kill Alton and so Scully shows up. He breaks in the house and they get a shootout with Scully. Scully got a shot off on Alton in the shoulder and then they got a shot off on Scully. Shot Scully in the stomach. So Scully's bleeding out. You don't see him till later later in the episode. Meanwhile, Reed is um they of course they replacing Reed. His cover's blown, so it's a new point of contact and going to be a new point of contact person. And Gustavo is going to be Franklin's point of contact. And it shows Gustavo stacking the new the bricks in the um, warehouse. And they give him uh, the information he was looking for on Lucille. And so he's contemplating and looking at his thoughts that she's out there. So uh, government can find anybody. Message. Take a note. Nevertheless, let's get back to it. So, uh, from there, 
You have Alton clump. He knocks Franklin out, busts him in the back of his head. Pretty much, he makes a deal with Reed to meet up. When Franklin comes to, Sissy shows up. Said, Alton hit me, said, you would need to help. I came here, you knocked out Franklin. Was like, how long ago was that? She was like 30 minutes ago. So she knew he was on his way to go see Reed. And so he was like, I'm going to, he called Reed. And like, yo, don't kill my dad. You know, if you ever had business with me, don't do that. And so what happened was he pretty much, Reed said, I'm going to give you the opportunity to, you know, show up. So he said, I'm going there. And the mom said, come with me. I'm coming with you. So he let the mom come with him. They show up. That's what you see in the trailers. Alton is wounded. But what Reed don't know is that Alton is recording him the whole time inside the car. Reed and them having a, Reed having a conversation back and forth. Franklin and Sissy show up. And, uh... They all having a showdown. Alton and Reed got a gun on each other. Franklin pulls a gun on Reed. Pretty much like, you, you know, don't do this. Sisley jumps in the middle pretty much saying, we'll leave. We'll leave the country and we'll be out. And pretty much, you know, and she looked at uh, Alton and said, you wanted me to go with you. Franklin got to make his own decisions. I'm going um, to go with you. And so it shut it everything down or whatever and it calmed everything down from there. So it shows Scully he's wounded and it shows him looking at the picture of um Khadijah and his daughter and so he, he's looking at the gun. So at this moment, where else is he going? The damn hostel. I said, Oh man, what a guy he gave. I said Uncle Jerome is out of here. I knew Aunt Louie ain't going to be out of here because she already, you know, they couldn't let her die with or whatever. And I knew, I, and we know the Little Rock situation, that's going to have to pop off. So, you know, it's going to be more storyline with that or whatever. And we're, kind of what makes sense if Uncle Jerome was the one to carry that on if Uncle Louie was there. So then you get to that moment. Uh, Scully shows up at the hospital. He's bleeding out. He can barely see. He's looking at. Aunt Louie pointing the gun. He know that'll hurt everybody more if he, he finish her off. Jer Jerome comes in pretty much like, yo, stand down. Yo, kill me. Kill me. Don't don't focus on her. And she she's telling Scully, like, listen. Remember in the beginning, the first episode of the season, she told Franklin, like, like Scully, like, you need to back Scully because he ain't trying to take over. He got his own code, you know, whatever, whatever. Scully chose man boy or whatever. So she was talking Scully down pretty much like, yo, if you kill me or people going to kill your people, it's going to keep going on. It's not going to stop. So she kind of made him like think twice. And then Jerome seen him weak and he Jerome hurry up and rushed him and he was already weak. So he was able to, you know, uh, get him down. So I don't think Scully's dead or whatever. And it's a reason why that happened. So that that situation happened. Reed and all of them stand down, and uh, so that it shows up where it's a plane. Sissy and Alton is getting on the plane, and it shows um, Alton uh, telling Franklin he love him and he apologized for whatever. Alton goes off Sissy, and then you know Franklin is hurt. You know his mom is leaving. Love it. You know he's love his mom, and so. Um, his mom is pretty much like, you know, he's like, Mama, we got a, we got this business to run. And, you know, she like, yeah, you know, I'm going I'm to uh, get back with you when, after we touch down and we get settled. And so, you know, he, he got his, you know, hugs his mom. He shed his tears or whatever. And they got on a plane and rolled. And um, Reed, the camera doesn't show Reed is there the whole time. So after they get in the plane and Gary fly off, it shows Reed there and pretty much making sure he left in the plane, right? So then Reed is like telling them Gustavo's gonna be your you know point of contact. Well so it's gonna be a new point of contact person, but until then Gustavo is a person that you're gonna be getting your you know keys from. So and he was like, I'm gonna be gone for a while. He said, How long? He said, you know, a little bit, a while. So you already knew at that moment it's something up with Reed. Where is he going? Where is he dipping off to? So Nevertheless, that's what happened there. Franklin shows up at the hospital. And um, when he showed up, Jerome, Uncle Jerome told him what happened. 
and he want to go see check on Aunt Lloyd and then Uncle Jerome said now is not the time and he said well I'm gonna go say hi to her and he said not right now so you knew it was gonna be a problem with that like either they want out the game or they want to do their own thing whatever the case may be it's, a, it's gonna be an issue so Franklin is looking at that situation and so um the next situation it shows Franklin where they get out of the hospital or whatever some time must have I don't know if time, some time went by or whatever cuz it seemed like Franklin is now walking so they come to the to the club they said business is doing well at the club and Uncle Jerome comes and put money on the table telling Franklin they want to cop from him and they want to do their own thing and then they, there was a little back and forth Franklin like we've been a family and they was like pretty much we could get the keys from you or we could go elsewhere. But we'd rather get it from you and keep it in the family. And then, um, I, Lloyd reminded him, like, I held this down while you was, you know, when you got, um, had your surgery. Or when you got shot or whatever. And so he was like, yeah, but you also begged me back to come back in the game. And then she was like, um, well, I the one who got the Little Rock situation popping. And I, I made... I blew things over with Scully. So that told me right then and there that uh, Scully's still alive or whatever. So when you had that happen, Franklin is like, you know, y'all don't need to be standing on your own or whatever. And they pretty much like, we tired of following you. We ready to do our own thing. And so they was like, well, think about it. Let us know. So he goes and talks to Leon. And Leon pretty much like, you want me to be real? Let them do their own thing. They respect you more. You're going to make less money, but at least they'll be able to do their own thing and, you know, still be a family. And so then he's like, well, let me find out that you, you know, you the wisdom speaking person. And then frankly, I mean, Leon pretty much said, well, it's all, I always been that way. You just never listen. And he said, since we being real and he was like, I don't want more on your plate. And he said, what's that? And Leon was pretty much saying, you know, after he killed that girl, that really did something to him. So he pretty much went out. He don't want to deal with it no more. So Franklin said, man, basically. So now that I say Franklin's tapping into his darker side. So he's pretty much told Leon, I didn't put stuff on the line with you. Cops, you know, protected you from the cops. I protect you from Scully and them. Man, boy, all this beef. And now you went out. He was like, pretty much you need to. You basically you need to tighten up. You gonna keep doing what you've been doing out here in these projects and hold it down. And so that was kind of messed up in a sense right there. I get on one hand with Franklin, but your man went out or whatever. Franklin afraid to be alone because he see everybody trying to separate themselves from him. Cause so you can only see this is the beginning of the downfall of Franklin Saint or whatever. So you see that part happen and. Then it shoots to, uh, so you thinking, I thought the episode was going to end with Gustavo chasing Lucille or something like that. It shoots to Havana, Cuba, where, um, Alton and Sissy is. And so, uh, he wakes up in the bed. I said, oh, I knew, I already knew it. He wakes up in the bed and... Sissy's not there and he's in the bed um sleep waking up and Sissy is up. She got her nice uh flower dress on. She's in seem to be in good spirits and uh, says she's gonna go to the grocery store down the street that they passed by. I already knew. Sissy walks off. Sissy got a donkey. Huh? Oh Sissy got a donkey. Huh? That's a <laughs> I know, I know man, people who watch this episode, you know. Uh, horror dogs are like, watch this episode, like, yo, sissy got a donkey, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, she walked off in that sundress, so she walked off and she left, and he's sitting there now, he's reading the paper, and you already knew, somebody comes in the door, and yeah, you already see what's Gary, the play that's Gary happening, and then it shows up, somebody with a gun, and he thinks it's her, and he turns and look and see it's Reed, so I already said Reed on some BS, so Reed is not leaving no chance. Like you messed this thing up for me. I'm not leaving no chance that you going 
be able to come back and haunt me or do whatever. And plus, you messed this up with me. I got revenge. So, Reed does have, we all know Reed got a dark side. So, Reed points the gun at him. And, you know, Alton pretty much said, you know, you better look at when it's your maker. And when it's your time in the end, you better look at all around you. See, he don't, Reed don't know he recorded him already. And he already passed the information. So, Alton already made his play pretty much. Um, he already made his play that if he get killed, it's the information that still go on or whatever. So it just shows Alton after he said he knew he could get killed. It just show him looking forward and Reed pointing the gun, but it don't really show like him pulling the trigger. It just leaves the scene like that. Pretty much, I think I want to believe that he Alton gets killed. Now, if this is on cable premium cable TV like HBO, Showtime, Stars, and all that. They would have let him get killed and show that, but I don't know if they wanted to be that graphic, but whatever. So, I think he's going to get killed. That's going to push Sicily to come back to the U.S. or whatever. That's going to push her to come back or whatever. Nevertheless, it, it cuts off the scene right there. Then it shows Mel back at some church volunteer, right? So, you like, yo, they snapping right now. They trying to like, yo. So, uh, the kids get left. Um, let go. Um, Franklin shows up at the the church or wherever she was volunteering at, and then she looked like she see a ghost when she see Franklin. And Franklin pretty much told her about Irene. He knows she talked to Irene, gave her information, and he said, "Well, right now it's all about." He shows up with his cane. Now, remember, I said this some time must have passed because he didn't have the cane when uh, he was talking to Uncle Jerome and him. So. He had the king, and he pretty much was telling her, like, you know, I can't live in a world waking up knowing that somebody could come and ruin my world and pass off information and stuff or whatever. So he was like, this is the last and only time you're going to get a chance to say whatever you need to say about me. And after that, hold your peace and don't say nothing again. That's what he told her. And then she pretty much was like, I want you to say to me. And she was like, okay. And you could tell she still distorted off of you know recovering from the drugs or whatever and she said like, okay i want you to admit to me like a man that you killed my daddy and he looked at her he looked off and he said take care of yourself male and stepped off and but she said i want you to admit to my dad that you killed my daddy that I'm not crazy. And because he told her that basically that's the I left that part up that he said, Mel, you know, you was on that pipe and you was on that drugs and you was basically telling her she was hallucinating. She didn't see what she saw or whatever the case may be. And he's like, I'm not even mad that you, you shot me because you was on them pipes and you was on them drugs and stuff. So she, after she said the part of my daddy, she said and confirmed basically that I'm not crazy. So he pretty much, of course, he ain't going to admit it. He told her, you know, take care of yourself, Mel, and step. And then he walked off. And she was sitting there like, like a sigh of relief or she was, you know, had tears in her eyes. And then it uh, showed him stop. So I don't know if he could turn around, blow her head off or whatever the case may be. But um, he put the cane down. And then walked off normal. And that's how I stepped. That's how the episode ended. That was hard. I just. Great episode. It's probably one of the best episodes. Definitely since season one. Hands down. I mean. Somebody could probably point out another better episode. So a lot going to come up. We got to see what's going to happen. With Aunt Louie and Uncle Jerome doing their own thing. With Little Rock. And of course. The first time we heard back in the like, early 90s. It was They did like a documentary of Banging and Little Rock. And that was the first time you've seen, like, down south people getting busy out in the drug game and all that. So, you know, it's going to be interesting how that take is. And if they all they got to do is follow the same formula they did for season four or five with the writing and all that and make it another great season. That's um, They did a great job. Um, kudos to the writers of Snowfall. Kudos to the, um, the uh, actors and actresses who um, was involved and did their thing. I think I covered all um, bases that happened in the episode. Another great episode. Subscribe to the channel. 
like the video let me know how you felt about um the season of snowfall and uh what you think is going to happen come season five till next time